Hello and uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Uh, like many of you, I, I recently attended uh, the Association Day where we were encouraged to reflect on the following questions. What might God be inviting us to notice at this time? What insights and practical responses arise from what we notice? In responding to what seems to be of God, what is needed and from whom? Excellent questions uh, which Colin uh, put together for us. Uh, and as you can imagine, a number of themes emerged uh, from the day. Uh, but the one uh, that uh, really struck a chord with me uh, was the sense uh, from many people that post-COVID, they don't want to return to how it was pre-COVID. Uh, let me just give you uh, some examples uh, from some direct quotes from the day. We need to do things differently uh, when we get the other side of this pandemic. I don't want to go back to business as usual. Another said, a willingness to stand against simply returning to normal. We need to slow down and reflect on what has gone and to reflect on what will now be. And just one more. We must find ways to get a better balance. COVID has allowed us to spend time with God. We need to focus on balance, but we also need to focus on priorities. We need to be a little more like Mary and less like Martha. That reference to Mary and Martha uh, really did hit home to me because I've been thinking about that passage in Luke uh, actually for many weeks now. Let, let me just read it uh, to you. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. Those six words of Jesus kept playing and playing over and over in my mind. Mary has chosen what is better. What Martha was doing was good, <laughs> great even. But Mary has chosen what is better. Here's another quote uh, from our day together. We have been too concerned with all that we feel we have to get done. What is God asking us to stop, start and sustain? God is inviting us to notice him more. I, I love that. I've appreciated the different pace and rhythms that lockdown has meant for me. I felt God just wanting to connect with me and me with God, but with no agenda other than to just be. Mary has chosen what is better. If we go back to that first question Colin posed, what might God be inviting us to notice at this time? I think a number of us might say, it's time for us to realign our priorities, to exchange what is good for what is better. Let me just finish with um, a prayer from Toza. Lord, I'd like to devote the remaining years of my life and ministry to the holy task of cultivating God. Help me to know you first and that out of the overflow of that growing knowledge can come whatever ministry you choose to bless me with. Amen.